Being a parent can be tough and exhausting, especially when your kids learn independence and no longer want to listen to you. Our next guest says there's a solution to having stronger relationships with your children through a guidance approach to parenting. Joining us now is Catherine Celery. She is creator of Conscious Parenting Revolution. Welcome, Catherine. Thank you. Excited to be here. Excited to have you. I'm, I'm glad that you don't advocate for being a perfect parent because we all know that's impossible, yeah. but rather a conscious parent. What does that mean? Yeah, conscious parenting recognizes that um, I'm aware I'm the source of my own experience. And so if I'm the source of my own experience and I'm beginning to have backlash, what is it that I could possibly be doing that's contributing to my experience of this situation? I'm trying to process that to think about how I deal with my children and whether I'm doing it correctly or incorrectly. Mm -hmm. And you say that we should eliminate the three R's, retaliation, rebellion, and resistance. Yes. How do we do that? Does it depend on what type of child you have? No, it really doesn't. I mean, the retaliation, rebellion, and resistance, the three R's, Thomas Gordon did tons of research. 75% of behavioral disruptions are one of those three R's, and they Ah. result from a controlling form of discipline. So if you want to eliminate the three R's, you have to approach conflict resolution differently than power and control. So it's not about the kid. It's no. about the parent. You got it. I am understanding <laughs> this. Okay, so take, take me through a scenario. Sure. What's the, the first thing we should do if our child does something that upsets us? Okay, so when you get the no, no, I won't do that from a child, parents often go into, all right, then no TV or you know, no play date, or you're grounded, thinking that power and control is going to change the the way the child is responding. What generally happens when you do that is you activate bigger secondary problems where they're like, fine, you know, I'll just go to my room and you can't make me. I like my room. I love it. I'll be there for a long time. Yeah. So you have no lever because what you didn't do was try to understand what their perspective was. So it really is fundamentally about, wow, when I get this big response from you, your big no is a yes to something inside of yourself. So what's the child saying yes to? And you just pivot and you get interested in what their internal experience is. So a conscious parent is more connected. They want to understand the other. Children are people too. And so if we begin to look at a child and their response, not as bad behavior that needs to be punished, but as information and we become neutral and sort of just like, this isn't like rebellion. This isn't being mean. This is just somebody struggling to communicate. So instead of the instinctual, no, Mm -hmm. go to your room. Mm -hmm. What would a better initial response or reaction be? Give me the words. Sure. So you could say you're having a really hard time doing this. There's something that you really wanted to do that you feel like I don't understand very well. And then the child would be able to say, yes, I told you, I really wanted to do la, 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 la. I get that. And you feel like I haven't taken that into consideration and you don't know how to please me and also stay connected to your own feelings and needs. I really like the approach. So how can our our viewers get more information from you? Yeah, ConsciousParentingRevolution.com. Come join us on the revolution. We have a private Facebook group. I love my kid and other parents who are just looking for different ways to be connected and have discipline. Come join us. It's wonderful. Thank you very much, yeah, Catherine great Celery. You. Great Thank to meet you. you, too. And once again, if you'd like more information on how to improve your relationship with your kids, visit ConsciousParentingRevolution.com, and there you will find free resources to get the conversation started with your family. Daytime, we'll be right back.